Franz Van Papen, or Papen, a double pope to help Hitler to power. As your signature is found, Eugenio Cardinal Pocelli, along with Hitler's signature in the concordant between the Vatican and the Third Reich in 1933. Nobody is going to believe that you were ignorant of the plot Hitler and his Nazis got underway against us. The number one Catholic biographer said referring about yourself, the more well-informed man in the Reich. After the Van Papen and yourself signed the Concordant, which blessed Hitler with holy water and gave him the needed push to power, your colleague Van Papen, after he escaped from the gallows by an inch, boasted as follow. The Third Reich is the first power that not only recognized but put into practice the high principles of the papacy. Your cardinals and bishops in Rome bless it, the weapons you, excuse me, blessed the weapons used against the defenseless Ethiopians. Cardinal Shooter of Milan proclaimed the annexation of Ethiopia as a holy crusade to bring to Ethiopia in triumph the cross of Christ. And after all of these, can you still call your church the church of God? Also, do you pretend that I still see you as a superior to me and superior to the people of the United States? You are using sweet words to talk about justice and at the same time playing the drums of war, calling for another war more terrible and destructive than the two past wars against Russia which helped us to defeat Hitler and Mussolini. You are inciting the United States to rush into building diabolic and detestable regimes. You want us to waste our money and to send our young men to a horrible death over the remains of Hitler and Mussolini to finish the work they started with your help after we defeat them. Yes, the United States longs for peace from all from all, from all the nations, we still have some prosperity and decency as we are the bastion for democratic freedom. If we as Protestant England get weak and lose our substance, your Catholic culture will have another opportunity to govern the world again. You can easily after get an alliance with Russia against us if we were to lose or fail weak after a war of that nature. Your predecessor Pope Pio the 11th declared publicly for the interests of the church I will go as far as getting a concordant with the devil. For these reasons Mr. Pacelli it is my duty as the head of this Protestant nation to reject this adventure disguised as a peace treaty. Those eating in the same dish as the devil must use a very long spoon. I will continue working for peace as a member of the Baptist faith, holding and working with honorable Protestant principles as they have made our nation so great. Yours truly, Harry Truman. Now, absolutely astounding. If this is a genuine article, it, it does have a little uh, uh, note here that it it's a possibility that it might be might not be the genuine article. Um, so you can do some um, research on that. I just will definitely want to make that clear. It's, they say there's a quite possibility that it might not be the genuine article. But um, I still took it upon myself to share it with you because whether or not it really is the genuine article, it does still genuinely express the sentiments that the leaders of our nation had towards the Vatican at that during that time period and previous to that time period as well. It's a very accurate depiction of that. But all of a sudden, we see that 
this this line of separation between our country and the Vatican has been erased and not only that but the very men that entered into this country and I'm speaking of those who are part of the Jesuit order who entered into this country assassinated our president Abraham Lincoln assassinated our president JFK established the Federal Reserve to subvert the American banking system which right now we are seeing the reality of their plan coming into its full fruition these are the individuals that are helping our current president make his decisions the president that we have that just vi visited with uh, Pope Pius Pope Pius I'm gonna call the Pope everything today Pope Benedict the 16th calling him your holiness and this should be this should be disturbing to us ladies and gentlemen this needs to be extremely disturbing to us you know something what's very interesting to me is that after I just released this video on YouTube a couple of days ago now in reference to the uh, um, this edict of this edict this encyclical letter that uh, Pope uh, Pope Benedict the 16th um, just uh, issued you know, you get some comments from some individuals out there. And, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm going to change my tone in how I'm saying this. But I received some comments, and I am going to um, assume in my heart that many of these individuals are extremely sincere in expressing the sentiments that I am going to share with you right now that they have expressed to me and to others out there. And their sentiments are so so what if we were consumed in watching the Michael Jackson funeral and we didn't know that Pope Benedict the sixteenth issued this encyclical letter in which he is in all reality calling for the governments of this world to establish a new world order so what we didn't know what were we supposed to do about it it was going to go anyway what could we do about it what what good was us what good if we knew about it what what good would that do if we knew about it these are the sentiments that i received in you know a few comments and maybe two couple of maybe two or three um, personal messages, but, you know, a few comments uh, people tag onto the video making these statements. And, and, and by the way, the individuals that were making these statements, um, in the majority, were um, those who profess to be Christians. So now I take it upon myself to answer your question. What difference would it make? First of all, ladies and gentlemen, as Christians, Jesus Christ has commissioned us, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Right? Go ye therefore and preach, excuse me, all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Holy Spirit, teaching them all things what I've commanded you. Then we're told in the book of Timothy, chapter uh if i believe it is first timothy chapter three starting at verse two let me make sure they open my bible up and make sure i'm going to the right text here okay it's not first timothy that would be second timothy then yeah timothy chapter second timothy chapter two Second Timothy chapter two and chapter Second Timothy rather chapter four, starting at verse two, says, "Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust they shall heap to themselves 
teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an, of an evangelist, make full proof of your ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible has commissioned all those that are Christians to preach the word, to be instant in season and out of season, to reprove, to rebuke, and to exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. As Christians, if there is an event that transpires in our world that has direct connection to Bible prophecy, it is our responsibility under the commission of the Holy Spirit Himself to make this matter known as far and wide as our sphere of influence goes.